Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 27 of year 2022, restructuring the Bahrain Standards and Metrology Directorate as follows. The directorate is headed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, with the membership of the Director of Testing and Meteorology at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the Director of Customs Clearance at the Customs Affairs of the Ministry of Interior, the Director of Control and Licensing at the Ministry of Oil, the Director of Electricity and Water Conservation at the Electricity and Water Authority, the Director of Materials Engineering at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, the Director of Public Health at the Ministry of Health, Engineer Lama Abbas Al Mahrous, expert, Dalal Fuad Al Baharna, expert, Sonia Mohamed Janahi, representing the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Nawaf Khalid Al Zayani, representing the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and Ahmed Sabah Al Saloum, representing the Bahrain Chambers of Commerce and Industry. The term of their membership in the committee is, in four, is four years. In its first meeting, the committee will choose a vice president to replace the president in his absence. The Representatives' Council held its weekly session yesterday, chaired by its Speaker, Fawziya Zainal. The Speaker congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the people of Bahrain and the Arab and Islamic nations on the advent of Eid al-Fitr, wishing many happy returns. On the occasion of Labor Day, Zainal expressed pride in the outstanding role played by the labor force in the kingdom and their contributions to strengthening the national economy in light of the comprehensive development process. Marking World Press Freedom Day and Bahraini Press Day, Zainal praised the efforts and contributions of national media institutions and all press and media personnel for their vital role as key partners in the development of the kingdom. The council presented the requests received from His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister regarding draft laws. The council also presented the requests received from parliamentary committees in addition to government responses to the proposals. Finally, the council discussed the reports of parliamentary committees. In implementation of the order of the Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to launch a development plan for places of worship in all governorates of the Kingdom of, of Bahrain to open, restore and rehabilitate 20 mosques affiliated with the Sunni and Jafari Endowments Directorates and to take measures to speed up the design and construction of 12 mosques in Salman Town, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, inaugurated the Great Prophet Mosque in Isa Town after completing the comprehensive maintenance in the presence of members of the Jafari Endowment Council and a number of officials. The minister highlighted the increase of projects of building and reconstructed pl reconstructing places of worship in light of the comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King and the follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the Prime Minister. He noted that the construction and reconstruction of the Houses of Allah reflects the status of mosques for the people of Bahrain and affirms the leadership's interest in building and maintaining places of worship in the kingdom. He hailed the role of the manufacturers for their community partnership through their contribution to the construction construction and maintenance of places of worship. The head of the Jafari Endowments, Yusuf Al Saleh, also inaugurated the Al Thamman Mosque in Jardab after completing the comprehensive maintenance. The Jafari Endowments Directorate announced the completion of the comprehensive maintenance of Sayyidah Khadija Mosque in Hamad Town and Diraz Al Kabir. Under the patronage of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zaid bin Rashid Al Zayani, the inauguration ceremony of the Bahrain Intellectual Property Society was held, which coincided with the celebration of the World Intellectual Property Day. Al Zayani hailed the remarkable efforts and the promising future directions that the society aspires to implement as the first step of its kind in order to spread and strengthen the culture of intellectual property rights in Bahrain. He commended the efforts and programs that the society aspires to implement in the next stage whose role intersects with that of the ministry in protecting intellectual property patents and innovations for her part the chairperson of the association's board of directors asma al najdi praised the efforts undertaken by the ministry of industry commerce and tourism in the field of supporting and protecting trademarks patents and electronic industrial property control 
The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, in cooperation with the National Bureau for Revenue, NBR, continued to intensify inspection campaigns on shops and commercial establishments in continuation of the efforts made since the implementation of the law amending the percentage of VAT. The inspection campaigns detected 13 violations that required the imposition of administrative fines that may amount to 10,000 Bahraini dinars in accordance with the law, in addition to detecting some cases that may be considered cases of VAT evasion according to the same law, which may require their closure. The NBR is in the process of taking legal measures against the violating establishments. The Ministry of Industry and the NBR stressed the importance of concentrated efforts to make the various stages of implementation successful and urged all residents to submit complaints when noticing any violations by reporting it to the call centre. The permanent representative of the Kingdom of Bahrain to the United Nations in New York, Ambassador Jamal Faras al rui delivered a statement during the Security Council's open session on the situation in the Middle East, including the Palestinian issue. The Kingdom of Bahrain affirmed its keenness to, co to cooperate with brotherly and friendly countries to consolidate peace and stability in the Middle East and promote the values of dialogue, peaceful coexistence, tolerance and rapprochement among peoples as well as established principles adopted under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The permanent representative stressed that the existing challenges and developments in the current regional and international situations require strengthening joint efforts to lay the foundations for security, peace and stability, combat terrorism in all its forms and prevents its financing and develop joint cooperation in developing fields. He reiterated Bahrain's firm stance in support of the right of the brotherly Palestinian people in accordance with the resolutions of international legitimacy and its call on the international community to assume its responsibilities in ensuring calm and to open serious aspects for the just and comprehensive peace process based on the principle of the two-state solution and the Arab Peace Initiative. The ambassador affirmed Bahrain's full support to the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council in its management of state affairs and the completion of the tasks of the transitional phase after reaching a two-month armistice calling for an end to the Yemeni crisis through a comprehensive political solution between the Yemeni parties in order to achieve the aspirations of the brotherly Yemeni people for security, stability, peace and development. The Telecommunications Regulator Regulatory Authority, TRA, has granted a license to Starlink to provide satellite and internet services, making Bahrain the first in the GCC to grant such licenses to Starlink service, thus maintaining the Kingdom's position as one of the leading markets in the field of telecommunications in the world, which allows Starlink to provide its services to consumers in Bahrain and the region. On this occasion, General Director of TRA, Philip Marnik, said that Bahrain's position as a telecommunications center and its distinguished competitiveness and open market make it the ideal place to provide this new service. He added that consumers will continue to receive the most advanced telecommunications services to achieve the objectives of the authority and the government. The Studies and Initiatives Center of the Bahrain Chamber for Commerce and Industry issued its periodic report for the first quarter of 2022. The report highlighted the contribution of the economic sectors to the GDP statistics on trade exchange, local economic outlook, and the standing of Bahrain globally. Bahrain's economy continued its trajectory to recovery as proven by several economic indicators, such as the 2.2% growth in the real GDP growth in 2021, the 11% increase in trade exchange between Bahrain and GCC countries in 2021 compared to 2020 and the flourish of several economic sectors, key among which the tourism sector, scoring a 161% increase in revenues in 2021 compared to 2020. According to the report, the hotels and restaurants, transport and communication and financial corporations were the top three growing sectors respectively, while the sectors with the largest contribution to the GDP were the finance and insurance, followed by crude oil and natural gas and manufacturing. As for trade exchange partners, China regained its position as Bahrain's top import partner, with a total value of imports reaching $543 million in Q4 of 2021. Saudi Arabia maintained its position as Bahrain's top export market in Q4 of 2021, with a total export valued at $602 million.